My new fragrance is finally here. <laughs> I know I've been talking about it for the past couple of weeks and I know you were probably able to sense that I was kind of anxious but also excited at the same time. I really shouldn't say anxious. I was more eager than anything because this is a fragrance that I have been working on for a very, very, very long time and I have been revealing little tidbits about the fragrance over the past couple of weeks. Well, in today's episode, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about my brand new fragrance which is available on the website right now so make sure to stay tuned now before i begin today's video and i tell you all about my brand new fragrance i'm so excited to share it with you and with the world i want to mention that if you're a fan of fragrance related content hit that subscribe button hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up it would really mean a lot to me so here we are I have been working with IFF for the past year and a half or so, ever since my previous three releases came out, which are Away, Imperial, and Emblaze, I've actually been working on this brand new fragrance, and the folks at IFF have been incredibly helpful, and as you can see, there have been eight different variations of this fragrance, and with the eighth one, I was finally satisfied. <laughs> and that's always difficult to sort of go back and forth and say a little more of this, a little less of that. But the folks at IFF have been incredibly wonderful and it's been such a joy to work with them. And they have lended their expertise with fragrances for Navitus Parfum in the past. So I am going to try to compile all of the information that I've mentioned about this fragrance in my previous videos into this video so that you can just watch this video. This will be the most comprehensive of them all. And you don't necessarily need to go back and watch my previous catalog or anything like that. The two perfumers who have worked so diligently on this fragrance and it was a long time in the making, Julian Rasconet and Dominic Ropion. This was a collaborative effort between these two amazing, amazing, amazing perfumers. I mean, if you are not familiar with their work, Julian Rasconet has made This Is Not A Blue Bottle by Histoire de Parfum. He's done Royal Oud by Creed, Asian Green Tea, Cidre Blanc, and a bunch of other fragrances uh, by the House of Creed. He's also done fragrances like Tabac Rose by BDK Parfum. He's done Enclave by Amouage, several fragrances for Amouage. And he is such an amazingly talented, perfumer who's actually done a few other fragrances for Navitus Parfum in the past as well. And then of course we have a heavy hitter like Dominic Ropion. Dominic Ropion has done everything from Y by Yves Saint Laurent, Phantom by Paco Rabanne as well. He's done Alien by Thierry Mugler, Portrait of a Lady by Edition de Parfum Frederick Mall, Carnal Flower. I mean his expertise is huge. Designer, niche fragrances, he is heralded as one of the greatest perfumers that ever lived. Definitely one of the best modern perfumers out there in the industry as of now. And so both of these perfumers came together to compose this gourmand fragrance that has caramel, vanilla from Madagascar, a salted butter fudge accord. You have French oak in the base, which kind of gives this sort of rum soaked barrel kind of a feel. There's also dark rum in here, which is spicy. You have sugar cane, you have brown sugar syrup. So it has this viscous, syrupy, sweet saccharin quality about it that is absolutely amazing. And then in the top, you have pimento leaves, which complement the spice that you're gonna get from the rum. In the beginning, we started with something quite beautiful. It was very designer leaning, I would say. And the more and more that we evolved throughout this process, it actually got a bit darker. And then for the most recent mod, which I'm actually almost empty, <laughs> the bottle is near empty, I should say. This one added that dark rum component and it did a few things. It added complexity to the fragrance. It added this boozy sensation, which I think is marvelous for the colder weather, specifically the autumn and the winter, but it also increased the longevity like crazy. This fragrance is eight to 10 hours on your skin. I always apply on clothing as well, and it does really, really well when I spray this one on clothes. And of course, it's been such a labor of love. And you know, this is really interesting for me to have worked on this fragrance because I normally work on multiple fragrances at a time. So to dedicate all of my attention on a singular release and really make sure that that one fragrance is perfect in terms of the name, the concept, the smell, the execution, the brief, the marketing, everything. 
I really prefer doing it this way and I, I have a feeling I'm gonna do it like this in the future as well. Less of a headache for me, but again, it hasn't been a painful experience by any stretch of the imagination. It's been such a labor of love. And I decided to call my brand new fragrance Raised Spirits. Now, Raised Spirits, of course, can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. It's something that's very sentimental to me. And it's something that whenever I think of the name, whenever I read it on the bottle, whenever I envision what it means to me, it really brings me to a place of solace, a place of respite, a place where I feel good about myself, a place where I'm very perspective, but also very optimistic. And I think that that is something that is really important for me at this juncture of my life. And so it kind of has this triple entendre meaning because raise spirits, for me, you know, you raise your spirits, you're raising a toast, right? And of course there is rum in here, there's dark rum. So it is kind of a toast to new beginnings for me. And I've been a lot, I've been through a lot, I should say, over the past couple of years of my life. And so whenever I spray this fragrance on, it is a, a gentle reminder to myself to really try to look at the world from the most optimistic point of view as possible, to take a lot of the lessons that I have learned over these past few years and apply it towards every action and every decision that I make in my future going forward. So in terms of raised spirits, of course, you raise a glass or you raise a toast, and it's a toast for me to new beginnings. Of course, whatever meaning it has for you, that is amazing, right? Allow your own subjective mind to sort of take that title and do with it whatever you will. Um, I want it to be very personal, very meaningful for you. The second meaning of raised spirits is of course, the spirit is the life force that animates the physical body. So for me, when I thought about a raised spirit, I thought about the people in my life that I've lost over the past couple of years. I've lost a few friends. I've even lost some students of mine. Many of you might know that I'm a teacher. I lost both of my grand grandparents within two weeks of one another. And so it's been a very difficult last couple of years for me. Another part of that is just taking the lessons that I've learned from these incredible people in my life and just allow it to be a reminder to myself that life is short. There's a lot of beautiful things to be experienced in this world. And the only way that we are gonna get ahead is to be kind to one another. Just be positive, shed that positivity and that helpful vibe onto other people. Really just do your best to perform good deeds every single day. And so this is a very positive and a very optimistic fragrance for me in that regard. And the third, meaning of this triple entendre, if you will, when your spirits are raised, you're in a good mood. So for me, it was about conditioning myself, right? Whenever I'm feeling happy, I will reach for this fragrance. And it's that same sort of memory activation that happens when you spray a fragrance towards a meaningful occasion in your life, could be a wedding or a vacation or a honeymoon or something. You go several months without wearing that fragrance and then after you spray it again, you're reminded of that wonderful time that you've had. So for me, I am very conscientious in terms of wearing this fragrance when I just want to feel good, right? Wearing this fragrance when I'm already feeling happy so that I can sort of mark that, kind of like a click trainer being used with a dog to mark a behavior. For me, it's the same thing. It's like Pavlov's dog. So I have been thinking long and hard about this concept. And for me, Ray Spirits is such a beautiful name and it's such an apropos name for this new release that has been a long time in the works. And as you can see from the varying levels of these bottles, I mean, this one is completely empty, right? So there are some that I was very confident about. <laughs> and I said, let's just entertain one more possibility. So we kept going and the fragrance is now available on the website and there is a very special launch day promotion happening and it is going to be active for a couple of weeks or maybe a little more than a couple of weeks. I really want to give my subscribers the opportunity to get the best possible deal on it now that you can ever get. I really hope you take advantage of that deal. All of the information is going to be down below in the description box. Cer certainly way too much information to convey within this single video, but I do want to take a moment to thank every single one of my subscribers. I think I currently stand at about 194,000 subscribers. I've been doing this for 10 plus years since June of 2012, and it's been such an amazing journey. As you've probably noticed for the past few years, I've been uploading every single day to my channel, and I take a lot of pride in, you know, the diligence and 
the love that I poured into this channel, but it wouldn't have been possible without you all. So I want to thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for sticking by my side through this endeavor. And this whole process has been such an incredible journey and it's really been a blessing. And every morning I wake up and I thank, you know, the Lord or the universe, however you want to look at it, for my circumstances because I truly do feel as though I am in a very blessed position to be able to do something that brings me so much joy and love and fulfillment. And I'm so incredibly happy for my friends and my family and my subscribers. And so I want to thank you all for supporting me. And I want to thank you for the support you have given me already in the past throughout the many years from the person who subscribed to my channel just today to the person who subscribed <laughs> back in 2012 when I first started doing this. So Ray Spirits is going to be the scent for the autumn and the winter of 2022. And this one is going to stick with you through the year until the beginning of next year, 2022. 23. This is an amazing, amazing fragrance that I have been completely addicted to. And so many times I've been stopped by friends and family members and, you know, people that I was so close to actually revealing this to because, you know, you, you're very excited about something and you can't conceal it for long. And so people have asked me, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? But I haven't really been able to talk much about this fragrance, but I really hope that you have the opportunity to experience this one soon. It is available now. Thank you all so much for the love and the support. It really means a lot to me. And I'm excited for you to get your nose on this fragrance and to get this bottle in your hands. It's a very special fragrance for me. And I hope that it'll end up being a very special experience for you as well. Thank you again. Once again, links are going to be down below. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for the support. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.